Hey, we're live. Any kids? And the computer's gone slow. I wonder why it's doing that. Hmm. Right, with that, we found it. Little place we live over on Facebook. We're just going to go and tag a few people. Oh, that was the wrong one. And the rest of you can do the tagging. I'll leave that at that. Right, so here we are. We're back again. It's new chili heads. Says so up there. I'm Lucifer's son. Says so down there. What we're going to do right now is we're going to bring in a really cool guy. He has his own group called Diaguano. I get this wrong every time. I get it wrong every time. Diaguano Fiery Foods. He's, He's giggling guy. his head off in the background. I can see it. I'm just going to bring him in. It's That's the guy what? there. Da. Daguano. Yeah, just imagine like you know you're a little kid and your dad's looking for you and you're like looking for your dad and you're like da da daguano daguano that's the one forget it again well anyway i'm going to leave it with you jiff because it's the fiery food section now for some sunday reviews who have you got first Today we have, a, well, first we have Sinai Gourmet, and it's Lawrence Fahim Isaac. Lawrence is, uh, I don't know if you remember from Chasing the Sun. Lawrence was fantastic. He was, uh, you know, we had a great time there closing out at the end. I think, uh, was it the first day? I think it was the second day. One of the, one of the days. It was the first day, maybe, and there was a whole bunch. Canada was in the house. Mike, Jack, everyone was there. Heiko, Greg. It was a fun, fun time. And uh, we had a great time with Lawrence. Hi, Lawrence. <laughs> Hello, hello. Nice to meet you, by the way, Lawrence. I'm going to leave nice you with Jeff. You well, I'll see you again in a bit. All right. <laughs> As Tony said, I'm Jeff the Fireman. I'm Darren Deguano. And we're here with Deguano's Fiery Foods and in the UK. And we're talking today with Lawrence. And Lawrence is, uh, if you don't know Lawrence, Sinai Gourmet is like one of I, I just love everything about your stuff, man. I love the bottles. The I love that you can the reusability of them, and I've been dying to taste them. So I've been dying for this. So, I mean, I've been dying to get your reviews and your input. So I've, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Actually, I, know, I think got, you have five heat levels there, right? Yeah, I've got basically all the good hot ones for me, and then I've got uh, the milder ones uh, and the low ones for Darian. So basically, awesome. Darian's going to start us off. And as we said, we prepped. You know, we did pre-open these, as we'll tell you. They look like they're open. But Perfect. when we got them, they were sealed. So we just didn't look like, ah, doing it here on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes so Darren, sense. Because some of them can be finicky, too. Yeah, Darren wanted to talk about this. So basically, it's a hot pepper coolies um, with maple and poblano peppers. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh yeah. lime juice. And fresh garlic with extra virgin olive oil and it smells like amazing i know she took the top off and she was like <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> yeah so basically our whole thing is fresh ingredients no vinegar we don't ferment uh and basically like 60 percent of that bottle of every bottle we do except for the honey is like hot peppers so it's a lot of hot peppers and as many fresh ingredients as we can so fresh lime juice, fresh garlic, fresh herbs. Um, yeah, and that one is poblano. So poblano is a very mild pepper. It's uh, a Mexican pepper, obviously, and it's the pepper they use a lot with like fish tacos or mole sauce or something that people do, which is delicious, is stuff poblanos. Like you stuff them with rice and some of that. So that pepper tends to pair well with the delicate ingredients, avocado, white fish, shrimp, rice, like things that are really sort of like delicate in flavor. So yeah. Uh, it's a floral pepper, and uh, Scoville-wise, probably like in the 500 range. Like, it's really mild. We call it our unhot hot sauce. It's basically a hot sauce uh, for beginners or uh, people that just like that poblano flavor. And, uh, this, the, and then, yeah, that one's a maple one. So it's actually real maple syrup. 
And uh, that's to, to add a little sweetness. The sweet ones are tend to pair better with proteins, chicken, fish, tofu mm -hmm. if you're a vegan, you know, whatever, that, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that all on your labels, you know, you have. Like fresh, fresh, fresh. Exactly. Basically, yeah. free, vegan, low sodium. And, it, it, you know, it's important. A lot of that is definitely. And I like the fact that it's a non-ferment. So yeah, Darren's going to try Actually, I'm going to try some of that too. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and try it. I know this is gonna be good, so I'm getting more. Uh, leave it, don't close it. It's, 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 it's very thick, the sauce. So here. I like the consistency of it. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, Dad. Pulling up the big boys. Yeah, so it looks like. I like the chunks in it. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Mm. Can I have some of this with naan bread? Yes, Thank that's you. what the naan bread is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it is chunky. I like the chunky. It has a really thick sort of consistency. Obviously, there's a lot of pieces of, uh, you get the pieces of peppers, the herbs, garlic. Yeah, there's a lot of nice different tastes in it. And then just a nice little tingle. Not, uh, mm. it, it's not yeah, like it's, 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 uh, tingle. And it's, it's like perfect for someone like starting out. What do you think? I love it. No, I, I'm going to put on a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually like, a big fan of the poblanos. Obviously, I like heat because I'm in I, I'm in that game, but I like the poblano because there's not much heat, but the taste is just so floral and it's like nice. fresh and it's, it's a very unusual tasting pepper. So I'm a big fan of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I know tons of stuff that I would put that on, definitely. Even, yeah. Because, um, yeah. And you can do My so much with it. The only problem we have with the poblano, I find, is that people plow through that bottle because it is a, oh, yeah. because it's mild, you can just go to town on it. So we actually have it in liter bottles for some people. So <laughs> those who really know and they get used to our product, they start ordering the liters at a time of that stuff. That, that'll, it's a little bit easier, especially if you cook with it because, you know. Yeah, we call those, what was it, high coast sized after yeah. <laughs> high coast foods. Yes, He's always like, yeah, we can we do a high co sized bottles every now and then, so it's good. As yeah, yeah, you have to, you have to. For for some of the some of the sauces, just need that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, so what do you have next? I guess jalapeno is the next one. Next one yeah. is a medium hot, the jalapeno. Yeah, and that is one. that a maple or an original? I forgot which one I sent you guys. It's a maple. So it's another maple. maple. Okay. okay. Here, I'll do yeah. the same one. The fact of the sweet and the smell on this one was what really got us. The fresh yeah, jalapeno. So syrup, fresh herbs and spices, fresh lime juice, extra virgin olive oil, and fresh garlic. Fresh, fresh Yes. Yeah. Uh, again, in our, in our effort to make less money but get a bigger product, better product, we put olive oil instead of canola oil. Everybody told me use canola oil, and I just refuse to use this stuff because it's good for deep frying. I love to deep fry with canola oil because, you know, it's – but for, for anything like this, I want to get just the best olive oil. So we found nice Italian extra virgin olive oil that we put in there. And I find it adds like just the little thing makes a difference, especially when you, since we don't have the vinegar, every ingredient comes out so much, right? So yeah, yeah, definitely. And you know, I, I agree with you there. Even if I was making it myself, I wouldn't want to put an ingredient that I didn't like in it. Exactly. Yeah, I hear that. You want to smell this? I do. But I, yeah. I definitely understand why people put canola oil because cost wise, I mean, like a twenty. Yeah. So a 20 liter pail of uh, canola oil is like $16. And the same thing about olive oil is a hundred bucks. So it makes a big difference cost wise, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, I always do. What was it? I tell people it's like, it's the old toy story too. You can't put a price on art. Yes. <laughs> and it so is, the it jalapeno is. maple is actually the, uh, it was actually the first hot sauce I had in mind when I started the company. Um, and it's really, uh, it's the one that I pair best with like a steak. Like I just put it, cook my nice steak, let it sit for 20 minutes after it's had the barbecue, 10, 15 minutes after the barbecue. And then this on it is a perfect, perfect mix. It's really, it looks a little bit like the poblano, obviously. It's got that chunkiness, but uh, I, yeah. Yeah. And this a little one, spicier. Made in hot, as it yep. said. Yep, jalapeno maple, yeah. Definitely. Cheers, Cheers. Dad. Oh, I like the taste of this mm -hmm. and the heat. The so heat. jalapeno is a fruity pepper. It's got a very, I mean, it's a flavor almost everybody knows, a much more of a fruity pepper. And here we're probably in the four or 5,000 Scoville uh, uh, um, 
me measurement around. It depends the season because jalapenos, I don't know, you guys, you probably know, jalapeno is very so much season, season, yeah, yeah, yeah. grower, mm -hmm. grower. And that's why they can go from 3,000 to 8,000 Scoville units pretty easily. So, yeah. Yeah, and like I say, it's... I like the aftertaste. Yeah, it's a perfect definition of what you were saying compared with the poblano. This is just like one tiny step up. But um, yeah. a complete different taste to me. And I think yeah, it's a, the yeah, jalapeno... Absolutely. And the smell of... And of course, you know, I like jalapenos anyway. Yeah. Even for, but yeah, like you say, this seasoning, everything... I like this one a lot too. I really Good. enjoy the yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. I really like the consistency. You know, because uh, a lot, you know, you, you do get a lot of ward resources, and you know, then you get the ones that are super thick, and not, I don't mind anything as long as I know if that was the way it was intended to be. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, there, listen, I, I have no problem with vinegar and hot sauce. That's just not the approach we took, but I find there's a couple guys out there that do. I mean, I don't like it when it tastes just vinegar, and you're not like you're missing out on the the other flavors that are in there. Yeah, and but I, there's some people doing some wonderful things with fermenting, uh, vinegar, all kinds of ones. So, but th that's not our game. Our game is fresh. That's where we want it to go. Fresh. We want to, you know, it, it, and it's more also in mind with me. It, what's fun with the sauces is you can also think about recipes that you want to do because they're really easy to cook with because they're fresh ingredient. It blends in like you're adding a fresh ingredient to your recipe, your sauces, whatever it is. It tends to blend in. So that's uh, that's a fun part of it. Oh, most definitely. I was staring at these in the fridge, and I was like, I can't wait to try them. Yeah, well, then luckily, <laughs> Lawrence gave me a, a good warning because he noticed that I'd kept the honey in the fridge, and I'd even forgotten. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd forgotten, about, you know, the crystallization. I was so used to just throwing hot sauce in there. So Yeah, no, I know the honey is the only one if you do. I mean, you can bring it back if it does. It's just a, you got to sort of, like, heat it up slowly at, like, 40, 50 degrees, and it's uh, Celsius, and it's a pain in the butt to get it back to uh, – to, uh, to liquid form. Which one's next? Wow. It's the original Reaper. Oh, so we're taking a big jump now. Yeah, we're taking a big, big jump. We're moving right up to that. So with this so, one, I, I think because I couldn't get the ghost pepper. You didn't, uh, the ghost pepper was out of stock. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, so we get uh, we get a couple farmers to grow our peppers for us every year and every year around this time of the year. Between now and when the peppers come off the plants, I usually sell out. So, um I don't mind, but it's a little frustrating. But the ghost, I'll send you some when I have. The ghost is fun because uh, it's got a really earthy flavor, like a scotch or a whiskey. Yeah, That's what the ghost pepper sort of tastes like. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of heat. Whereas the reaper, I guess because there's some of uh, some habanero in the lineage of the reaper, it has more of a smoky flavor. So, yeah. So, you're doing the reaper now? I'll do it with you. Oh, definitely. Cool. You guys. <laughs> I know you won't. Well, you don't need to do the reaper. Uh, no. You're right. I don't need to. Put a lot in there. Oh, I love this. I know this one. This one is actually green reapers, so they're not as uh, they're not red yet. They're not as mature, so they're a little more, I'd say, bitter in taste than the red reapers. But these ones were put through. It was a really bad end of season last year. So they're viciously hot. I, I guess they just started accumulating a lot of heat, and they just yeah. became wild. So they're wild. But you'll see a smoky flavor, a little bit of a bitter taste from the green of the reaper, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Well, this was the liquid kryptonite, as I recall. So mm -hmm. I went a little more. Oh, yeah. You went all out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that. And it's hot. Yeah. Hot with great taste. It's so very much a reaper flavor. So you got to love reapers because that's what it tastes like. Exactly. I mean, hey. <laughs> He wants to show you. This is the bomba. Oh, that's coming up. There you go. Oh yeah, now I feel that. Yeah, I feel. And it's I feel elastic. That. You'll see it, it gets is. in your mouth, and then it starts. You'll swallow it down, and it'll just keep coming and coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not lying there. Now, uh, definitely, definitely feeling that. I'm gonna put another piece of bread in there. So that is again no extract, of course. Um, uh, he he wants to show the products here. You're a better salesman than I am. This is the honey. Yeah, we'll try the honey after. Yeah, we'll be coming in with that real soon. Just as soon as I move this goes down a little bit. So what I'll do is I'm right on the taste of the honey. 
Yeah, not yet, but yeah, I love that taste. I love the heat of that. Mm. I like it just uh, yeah. It lasts. I mean, oh I yeah, could, yeah. The Reaper will just stick around for a bit. It it it, it lets itself uh, it lets itself known that it's there. It coats the inside of your mouth, and then as you swallow, I find it warms you all down the throat. Yeah, for me, I just feel it right to the back of my throat, but I feel okay. it on my all around my mouth, all around my lips, and like you say, it's like the perfect. Uh, the perfect reaper tingle. It's not yeah. um, insanely hot, but it's a beautiful, like for me, a super strong chili head. I'd put this like around a seven or eight on the heat scale, but the taste is like a nine or ten, brother. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Because it's not. Yeah, so it a lot of the times the reaper just overpowers the sauce. Here, everything's working together. In the well, here, here the trick is the Reaper is the sauce. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's so, what it is. So in, in, the, in this bottle, there's uh, 15 peppers around. I think by the time they're cut and blend, you get 15 fresh Reaper peppers in each bottle. So um, you're really – I mean, our sauces are about showcasing – the flavor of the actual pepper itself. If you don't like the taste of the pepper, chances are you're not going to like our sauces because reapers yeah. taste like reaper, jalapeno tastes like jalapeno, poblano tastes like poblano. Uh, yeah, a little, a little head, and I like that. And I like that it's, I like that it's not overpowering. It's, but it's constant. It's still constant. Normally they would have still there, right? Yeah, it's and still I mean, there. Yeah, because <laughs> I mean the bottle, it's a, a decent sized bottle, four fluid ounces, but. When you say there's all those peppers in there, so I mean, yeah, man, this is like, I like this a lot. Do I have to? Yeah, it does. Refrigerate after opening. Good. Because I mean, yeah, I can. The only one you don't put in the fridge is the honey. Okay, I can see that basically. Um, oh, imagine that. This is the chili. But are you? I don't want her to taste Not it because it's a little too hot. I'll though. put the poblano. The poblanos, but yeah, that well, those are for you guys. That's basically when we're buying these, we try and buy the high ones for me. And then the low to mediums for the rest of the family, but that doesn't yeah. mean I can't try some of the low mediums because they're really absolutely, rich. absolutely. Well, and now, so the the idea behind the Reaper honey too is that you can taste the Reaper without getting the full heat of it. I mean, it's still got a fair amount of heat to it, but that's two percent Reaper and ninety eight percent real Canadian honey. Yeah, oh, well, I'll tell you. Oh yeah, it does. I'll tell you where they're. You'll want to try some. I'm sure you probably will. It's, well, it's pretty surprising at the end. At the front end, you're going to taste the honey. Um, the guy, David, the beekeeper, makes amazing honey. I don't know. I think he sings his, uh, his bees to sleep at night because his bees just make really nice, really nice honey. But so you'll get the honey taste in the beginning and then. Want in it. Well, there's, well, basically, well, I don't know if we can see it under there, but if you look, there's you can see the honey and there's all. There's just tiny little flecks of goodness. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. You'd be able to try that. You think so? Yeah, because the heat comes at the end. Yeah, I can cool. feel it just, I'm just feel it building up, but it's sweet. Oh, man, that tastes good. I Exclamation bet, point. I bet you Alex would just pound that. She pounded the other honey. Well, the other honey wasn't as good as this. It wasn't Reaper. The other one was kind of like a ghost pepper or one of these hot, hot peppers, but on, on pancakes. Also, again, me being me yeah. being a nut, I uh, it, before I selected the honey, I tried, no word of a lie, probably 35 different beekeeper honeys, like from different beekeepers to find the one that I liked. And this guy is just, I, it's a wild honey. So it's not like the bees are just, you know, they're, they're doing their thing and it's just full flavor. The honey itself is full flavor. And then boom, at the end you get the nice reaper coming in and like a perfume and a nice nose flavor to the honey. It's very nice. It's fun. I've had that on ice cream. I bet you made chocolate it tarts with it. Ice cream. I bet it would be. Or even on if you're not if, if you're feeling a little bit under the weather, you put some in your tea. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, and I'm sure that, you know, Alex, as you know, is a professional bartender and a mixologist. So, you know, yeah. I'm not sure how she would use Well, she could probably use it. You know, we've been fermenting some, uh, or basically. Chili vodka, right? No, it's, it's yeah, some uh, ghost pepper vodka. So, yes. Oh, cool. 
another couple of days, it will be six weeks and ready to pull out. And Alex, is oh, that's very interesting. So uh, you, you put it in just to sort of uh, so it, it it's uh, it's infusing in the uh, the vodka. Just infusing. A friend of mine gave me some vodka, and he's like, "Here, try this. It's like hot pepper vodka. It's supposed to be, you know, super hot." And I tasted it, and it tasted like someone had just put pepper in vodka. So I figured, like, you know, like black pepper, you mean? Like black pepper. Yeah. Like, well, I get it. It's so it's all the sales that it's hot vodka, it's spicy vodka. So I figured we'd make our own with our own ghost peppers. So we cut up the ghost peppers, put them in. Yeah. Alex will make up a drink. <laughs> well, you know, when it's all done, she'll experiment and create some some drinks. I think she's already she already did one. I got two two ideas for you that I love. One, which we did last, uh, we did yesterday in the heat wave, is mojitos. Cut down on the sugar a little bit and put a little bit of the spicy honey in there uh, uh, in your mojito, so you get a nice sort of like hot sweet um, thing. And whiskey sours are unbelievable. Yeah, and I'm a fan of whiskey sours. And, you yeah, know, so, like I said, I'm sure Alex would love those. So we'll move on to the last thing we have with you, Lawrence. Yep. Nonna Giuditta. Yeah, so the bomba. So a bomba is an Italian uh, hot sauce. It's basically, um, from what I understand, at the end of the season, the gardeners would have all the vegetables left over, and a way of keeping them and preserving them would be to make sauces like this. It's basically like canning. But so we have um, thyme bomb peppers in there, eggplant, mushroom, red peppers, and then uh, fennel, um, um, li uh, a sunflower oil, and uh, lime juice. So if this one is, it pairs really well with anything Italian, obviously. So pizza, uh, pasta, lasagna, things like that. Well, but I find it's also, sorry? Look perfect with me then. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but I also find in sandwiches, and you can even mix it with a mayo to make like a sort of like a perfumed uh, sort of like a, like for a sandwich. You know, you put that and mayo, you mix it together and it makes like a nice sort of like sauce to, for dipping or for stuff of like that. Almost like a sandwich spread. So I'm gonna open. This. So when you smell it, you can really smell. It really smells garden like. Oh, yeah, it does. It smells like it smells like Italian soup. That I used to grow up on. Yeah. Most just like soup. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, going oh. to I'm have to mix this a little bit just to give it a little. It's been sitting for a while. The oil rose to the top? Yeah, just a little bit. So I'm just mixing yeah, it. It happens. Yeah, it does happen. But, you know, and I think. <laughs> Same with our peanut butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're forever turning peanut butter upside down because of the oil. All right, well, let me take this. I'll just take that. So the, for that one, we have two heat levels. We have Nono's, which is uh, the grandfather's, which is a little milder, and Nona's, which is uh, the grandmother, and hers is a little spicier. I love it. Oh. Italian spicy garden spread. So, yeah, I'm going to try a nice good spoon of that. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, man, it's like soup. <laughs> just eat this. It's I've actually just I actually just put that on bread and had it just like that, like like a bruschetta almost. Yeah. No, I'm gonna have another one. It's so good. I could just eat it like it is. And like uh, next time you have pasta, put a spoonful of that. It just marries itself perfectly. Yeah. That's how's that heat level for you? Is okay? Yeah, the, well, you know, after the Reapers, the heat level is actually that's pretty true. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's I, a good I, point. I can feel it, but um, at first I was like, "Oh, oh no, I got to remember I'd had I just had the Reapers." But yeah, you know, it's it's definitely hot, so it is a step below. I think between where we went with the the medium straight to Reaper, we should have probably gone with the Bomber. You know, <laughs> yeah, it, it's yeah. Up. So, and that's basically exactly the level that I put it right between. I think I got it in uh, yeah, the scale. Like the of course the liquid kryptonite is. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I don't really like that one. Uh, you know, Lawrence, I love all of your stuff. Oh, thanks, you know, bud. I appreciate that. With the name, Delicious. you know, the name gourmet is is well chosen, well chosen, well done. Because, like thank I you, said, like you. top of the line, and exactly what I would expect from you know producers who aren't big bucks selling all over. So, hopefully, 
you know, we'll help sell some of your stuff through Canada, maybe England. You ship everywhere? Pardon me? You ship everywhere? I ship all over the world. The only, obviously, the only... Uh, the only downside is that when it comes to crossing the river, uh, the, the, the pond, it, it's a little expensive. So I think by the time, I think our shipping to Europe ends up being around $45, $50. It is a little pricey because we use DHL. Uh, you get it quick, but it is pricey. Um, whereas Canada and the U.S. are shipping is free after thirty four ninety nine. I think. Yeah, that one in the U.S. isn't too bad. You know, I like... Uh, after you guys, the next one that we have up is uh, our friend Lee Farina, and he's from uh, he's from England. So I've bought a fair amount of sauces from England in the, the yeah. last few weeks, and uh, I, I through Lee Alexander, who we had on the show last week, he showed us um, FedEx, which FedEx got FedEx? it took a day and a half, Lawrence. From yeah, oh, yeah, 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 to mine in a day and a half, and I think it only cost. It would be about 30 pounds, English pounds, sterling. So it, working out the Canadian, it'd probably be right around what DHL. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, it, yeah no, it's, it's amazing. I don't even know how they do it. I, I had I have a customer that orders from Singapore. They or, she orders like two, three times a year, and uh, it takes two days to make it there. Like they pick it up on Monday and on Wednesday, it's at her doorstep. Yeah, well, you know, they have their own models the mind. They have their own airplanes. They have their own distribution yeah. centers. So it really helps. And, you know, to me, it's uh, it's worth paying the sources. I couldn't find your stuff. Any, I bet I guarantee you I couldn't find anything like this over here, especially with, you know, or in, in the United States, unless I'm buying it from you. And, I mean, that's yeah. basically my, uh, my whole main thing is that I just – I would – yeah, I'm definitely going to have some more. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> I would pay the money to have it shipped over because, you know, yeah. it's, it's worth it because I can't get it. So overall, hey, it, it's our play. And, and if there's anybody that has questions or anything, they can email me or message me directly uh, on the website or uh, on our Facebook page. If they have questions about shipping and stuff like that or anything, it'd be, I'd be more than happy to help them. And uh, yeah. Well, yeah, like I say, your 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 product is amazing. It's actually, you know, it's, it really yeah. is. Everyone from even from the mildest all the way up to the top, and we've really enjoyed doing this. So thank it, you so much, man. Yeah, I really appreciate. It. Hopefully, Tony's around. We'll bring Tony back in, and you know, we have <laughs> we have all the web details. Signigourmet.com. You can reach him through there or Facebook page, Messenger. Like I said, excellent products. Excellent guy. I hope to talk more to you, definitely. Absolutely. It would be my pleasure. Here, here, before I go, I just want to show you my T-shirt. Jack Norris! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard he got coronavirus. Did he really? Yeah, and they quarantined him. No, he beat it up. No, they yeah, quarantined beat it up. I was going to say, I was waiting for it. <laughs> they quarantined the virus for 14 days. <laughs> <laughs> I have my of fire one up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's a good one. <laughs> Lucifer's son, definitely you. I like it. Thanks, Lawrence. It's been insightful and fantastic. Delicious. Definitely delicious. Thank you so much. And let me know some of the recipes you guys uh, try it out with. I'm curious. Oh, you know we will, definitely. And Thank you, you guys. Have a good one. Website. Uh, it's very well put together. It's one of those websites that looks professionally built and it's all sparkling and it's boom. Very it's easy. not me that built it. <laughs> oh, you didn't do that. <laughs> I was about to ask you if you could give me an hand. <laughs> you, you built the important stuff. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. If, if I built the website, you'd get that 404 error code on every single page. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for doing this, and it'd be a pleasure to chat again in the future. I think you guys are doing a great job and uh, doing a lot of good to the industry. And I want to just give a shout out to all of you and thank you a lot for that. I really, it's really appreciated. Oh, well, thank you, Lawrence. It's been brilliant to meet you. Take care. Bye. So that was Lawrence. Who have you got next, Jeff? Next, I uh, nobody just. I've got these old, old bottles with these old, old labels. 
Oh, I like them labels. <laughs> and it looks like a little, what is it? Is it a skunk? That's what my daughter goes, daddy, daddy. You know, she's five. Is a skunk? And I'm like, no, it's a badger. It's uh, a badger. That's what it is. It's that guy hey. there. <laughs> I think we know a badger. <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys to it again. See you in a bit. Nice to see you. Definitely. Highly. Nice. Hi. You right? Thank you for everything you did for me sending these over. Take no, that's not a problem, you know. Thank you yeah. for the custom. That's what it's all about, you know. It's all good. Um, like I said, we've got a, uh, a beautiful selection of stuff here. So, again, I went with... Uh, these are mine. These are Darian. This is my daughter, Darian. She's standing in for Alex for today. And she's going to be doing your mild to... Your mild, your mild to medium, and I'm going to be doing your hot ones. And then we'll basically uh, talk with you, and you can tell us, you know, what your whole, uh, basically what you were thinking about, how you came up with it, your ideas for it. Here's your one, Darren. We'll, we'll start off with... Sweet chili. The sweet chili. What ingredients do we have in there? Water, sugar, vinegar, tamarind. 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 Ginger, lemongrass, garlic, salt. Cinnamon, lime leaves, spices. Good. I like the. I already like the look of it. Yeah, it's. I like nice. how it's all liquidy. Yeah, well, try away. Yeah, there's there's no uh, we use no thickeners or anything in there, so it's just literally the reduction of the sugar, you know. All this. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I want to try that too. You, want to try too? <laughs> you can well, you can taste it how you do, but. Here. I need a piece of Oh, you're gonna dip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's gonna dip. I'm gonna spoon. Oh, Dad, this is so good. Well, yeah. What did you expect? (laughs) Deliciousness, and that's what I got. Mmm. Yeah, this is really, really, really good sauce. I've, I've got a hot version of this as well, but yeah, I like, I like the sweetness of it. Yeah. Yeah, that you could use that on a lot of stuff. I'm going to go for more of it. <laughs> I like the smell. Oh, yeah. I mean, that one is fantastic. So what was this when you did this one, Lee? What did you have in mind, basically? Okay, so I wanted to go for like a Malaysian sort of flavor with that one. That's why it's a little bit of a cross with all the things that I've got in there, different spices, the lemongrass and the coriander seeds. I wanted to finish it with tamarind because I just like that flavor. I think it adds really nice fruitiness to it. It really does. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just nice. It's, it's got that – because I use fresh tamarind only as well. I don't use the, the dried stuff. It's like really good quality, you know, seedless, the, the block of tamarind and – yeah, I get it from a, a, a Chinese grocer's near me, and it's it's just a fantastic product. It really I've is. Got a bit in there now. now. Alex just commented that you know, excellent on noodles, and it was funny because in my head I'm thinking, man, this would be fantastic on noodles, and then it yeah, came. I, mean, I, 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 I like, I like yeah. glazing it over salmon and stuff as well, which yeah. goes really nicely over duck and salmon and things like that. Yeah, that one's really, really good. Mm-hmm. So the what? I of it's got. Um, Boot jalakas in it as well. They're a hot one. Oh yeah, the jalakias. I like them. Quite, um, yeah, quite a bit more fiery, but as well. Oh, yeah, not well, there's exactly. other ones to go for. Well, oh, okay. uh, she's going for those, so I'm going to go right for your reaper sauce. And you know, I know, like you were saying, these are your old labels. You've got some new labels now, but yeah, I have. Yeah, in fact, I've got my new labels. I've got all the products here. Look, so this is my new sort of label going forward. I've had to change the. Oh wow! Yeah, Ed and stuff. Yeah, they're a bit more slicker now. I think I was I've, I've, I've kind of forced into a change, but well, that's a different story for another day. Oh but, yeah. Um, oh yeah. See, we've got the little chili under. There. This is the same sauce as you've got there. So the labels are bigger. You can read it a lot easier. They they're just a bit um, gone for a little different look there. You know. Oh, I've got it. It's like reaper sauce, tomatoes, red white vinegar, onion, red chili, and fennel seeds. I like fennel seeds. I mustard seeds, coriander seeds. <coughs> those those nuts, man. 
Oh, I got to say, those nuts. <laughs> Dogs are so good. They don't they're, dangerous. Long, they're, long. Right, they're dangerous. They really are good. Um, yeah, <laughs> I eat a lot of them. I, I think know. anybody else that tries them is just like, no, no, no. They're, they're just gone pretty much straight away, you know. A lot of flavor, really good flavor. Well, on this one, again, this is your Reaper sauce. So this is my original as well. This is my first one, so it's like a nice blend of chili sauce, that one. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, again, it's got a beautiful Reaper taste. You don't want to try no, this. No, can I smell it? But you can definitely smell it, but. I wasn't going to. So I use, I use uh, Reapers, I use Dorset Nagas and Scotch Bonnets in that as well, so mm. it's a little bit more blended. You know, it's got, um, I, like, I like different chilies in there, just for flavor more. It's a really good cooking sauce. Yeah, I bet you this one would be a definite good, you know, because it's, it's got great heat. It's got great taste. It smells really good. It smells like Reaper, but it doesn't yeah. hit you like, you know, you can tell that the other peppers have not numbed it down, but have actually added to the taste because, you know, when I saw Reaper sauce, I was expecting like, you know, what we normally get is like a full slam Reaper in your face. I like that this... Because, like, just now I'm starting to get the heat build up in my throat that I've never yeah. had. So it takes yeah. a while. I like the slow the slow creep of it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want to go for something with my original. I didn't want to go for something that was just Reapers. I just thought, you know, we'll try a little something different, put a couple of other peppers in there. But like you said, it brings the Reaper down in there a little bit, but it adds a lot more flavor to it, I find. I like the other flavor profiles of the other chilies, so... That's what I was thinking going forward for this sauce, you know. And it was my first one, you know. It's kind of a... Oh, well, congratulations for a first yeah. one. It's good. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great, great, perfect sauce. Not overpowering, not uh, not mild by any means. No. That one is one that I really do like. Right, so Darian, what's your next one? The one that you were really excited about. I'm going to save that one for last. I want to do this one. Okay, so yes. The you're mild safe. sweet pepper. Awesome. So that's the newly named one that I showed you earlier, the lemon drop. Yeah. Ooh. So you've got lemon drop chilies in it. This is lovely. Mm -hmm. The added lemons in this one. Mm -hmm. Open her up and try her. I'll try it with you. Too. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh I'll do this over here. Oh, oh yeah. I am just taste of an effect. No, 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 no. Just slightly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm slowly, not slowly. I don't think I'm not to do. The yeah, flavor yeah. you get from Ooh. this one is literally just from those uh just from the chilies that I've got in there. It's really, really nice. Yeah, mm. it is. Light, really light, really sweet, nice and. Mm. Yeah, I like the taste of that. The tingle mm. of that. That one it's is. I, I I like using it as a salad dressing or just splashed on some wilted greens. Yeah. I've got I seasoning selections that I do as well with the lemon drops. They go really well with that as well. I've got like a lemon drop chili seasoning. I normally just rub loads of that on a bit of salmon and have some greens with it and splash a load of the sauce on. It's nice yeah. mild to so the kids really like it as well, you know? Yeah, definitely. That one that one is very enjoyable. <laughs> Man, this I'm loving all the comments about my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, towards the end that there was all the actually I can't even see the comments. I yeah, they, they come up right there. I oh, know some of them do. Some, well, that's oh. only Lucian put them up. They're in a oh. different. Yeah, um, it's the ones that they put up. So um, <laughs> we'll see them later on. Oh. Uh, so where was I? I was with the Reaper Revenge. Then. Reaper's Revenge is the next one. Yeah, this one is. Uh, this is a good source. This is my fa my favorite and my best seller at the minute. This. It's got a lovely flavour. It's it's nice. You're getting lovely sweetness from it, and that reaper heat from it is is unmistakable. The flavour of it. It's got um, it's got Maruga scorpions in it as well. I see it. Yeah, Trinidad scorpions, chili sugar, yep. salt, olive oil, fennel seeds, black pepper corns. I bet you that will add to it too. Yeah, just a, it's a nice flavour. You know how we have this big spoon, little spoon ladle system. Uh huh. Yeah. 
Well, on that system, this sauce, a lot of big spoons will struggle with this one still. It is quite hot. <laughs> Mash my face right in. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is high on the Tony scale. Well, that's good to know. Again, I love the color. The color on this is like stunning. Yeah. But it gives you, well, look, it's like, if you look at that one, uh, the Reaper sauce is orange, and this is like red orange. <laughs> it's <Yeah. laughs> nothing dark. You see, it's got slow roasted red peppers in there, so that's where it comes from. I roast really slowly roast the onions, garlic, and peppers in there, just just to build on that depth of flavour with this. So you get a lot, a lot of good flavour come through. Yeah, I can. And of course, that. you get that heat straight away. Yeah, again, I can. Build smell a nice it. building heat with it. Shake it. I did. Oh, that's okay. Did you shake it? I did shake it. So I'm going to put a nice big old chunk all the way down there. Nice. Yeah, Reaper. <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, I, I'm, I'm saying to myself, oh, I, I don't have, a, I can't taste any heat, but I can feel it starting to build up slowly. Mm -hmm. I like I like that it's a uh, it's a very slow buildup because I can I can it's the familiar tingle that I get knowing that it's going to come there a little more. I'm just going to eliminate the bread a bit. Mm -hmm. It does. It, it definitely does creep this one on you. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not instant with the heat, not so. No, but again, a great taste on it. You know, it's just not overpowered by just hot and reapers and you know you're not trying to bung as many peppers as you can into the bottle you know the important well, part not with all of my sauces now i thought i kind of not not so i like other flavors so the, I like the spice blend that i use as well with the mustard and the fennel and stuff like that it just adds a lot of depth it just adds a really good flavor to it i think yeah that it does <laughs> i really enjoyed that one because now yeah now i can feel it in the back of my throat and i mean I had that a while back, and it's already. I, lo I love the slow build-up of that one. Definitely. So, what one is Darian going for now? Medium sweet pepper. Well, she's going for the medium. So this is now. This is orange habaneros in this. Ooh. So where is it? <clears throat> this is the new one of these ones. Look. Ooh. Oh yeah. That orange Ooh. habaneros in it, and this is again. It's really fruity, really tasty. <coughs> Orange habaneros is one of Darian's favourites. <laughs> yeah, they're lovely chilies. Very fruity, really good. Years ago, we did like a a little pod taste on fiery foods, where I had all my kids eat an, an orange, mm. eat an mm. orange habanero, and I knew they would like it. Mm. So I'm going to try some of that one too. I like that a lot. Oh, yeah. Like, I get a slight tingle on my tongue. That's good. And me, I just get the taste of basically what you put in there. You know, after the pepper, the Reaper's Revenge, I really... <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's good to have Darren or Alex here to, you know, do the, the lower ones. But, yeah, this one is really, really tasty, good. really tasty. I like the chunks of it. Yeah, that would be the ones. That would be one of the favourite ones for the kids. We've yeah, got somebody else here that's going to do a little review on the Reaper's Revenge because that must be one of his favourite sauces. He eats this quite a bit, so we're going to bring him in as well. Yeah. Who's this? It's Jim Nixon, the Scots Bond. Oh, I'm glad to be a part of your wee show. You know what I mean? When I seen uh, you've got Lee's stuff today, I was like, nah, I need to jump on. You know what I mean? I was yeah. running late, so my sister came over my family, uh, to see Kaylee. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, well, come on. The same haircut. We've got a few of us. <laughs> what about the same haircut, look? <laughs> <laughs> the three baldies. Brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, I've not tried this one yet when Tony says, but Reapers, Carolina Reapers are always my favourite in the pot. They're always good for me. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, so this will be good. I'll just crack it open since you're using butter then. It sounded nice. The mustards yeah. and the corianders. It's a great taste, great smell. Uh, straight away, you can get the coriander and mustard, the vinegar. 
Mm. And you pick up on the fennel as well. You get that aniseed yeah. flavour. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get that because I've read the ingredients, so that's going to come through right mm. in the back of the throat. You're going to get the aniseed taste. Okay. You want some? No. <laughs> <laughs> None for this one. So it's got a great pour. Yeah. The aniseed punch is there. Once you just wash it, let it wash about in the mouth. The aniseed comes right through. And then it starts to work here now. Just getting the back. Yeah. That's, your, that's your reaper just working away right in the back of the throat and then it's going to come I'd find with this one it starts at the back and then it just slowly yeah. moves its way forward to the so that's it it comes round the side of the tongues do you know what I mean it just comes right round and yeah. it just works that's a nice fresh hot sauce man that's lovely that's going to be a marinade for all sorts chicken keep your chicken overnight and beef um, I, yeah, I, I like it. I like it on my Mexican. I like it on a big bowl of like chili nachos and stuff, and just yeah, yeah I, I bet it would be really loads of it on. It's really tasty. That is a lovely sauce. That is a great sauce. Yeah, I probably eat that one. Nachos. <laughs> you always make good sauce. Um, the, the only one I've really tried is uh, the Armageddon. And yeah. That's, Talking about that. So, that's the next one for fish fingers on it. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I've heard all about. I can't eat fish fingers. So if they do like a, a non-meat alternative fish fingers, maybe I'll do it. But uh, I will, we get chicken fingers over here, so I'm going with chicken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> if they have chicken fingers, chicken fingers. <laughs> Worst case scenario, turkey dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, yeah, dinosaurs we can get, or we can get. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what are you doing with my sauces? <laughs> I've got to say, the turkey dinosaurs idea isn't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't, don't do that. <laughs> well, I've got some of this Armageddon, so I'm going to try on my little fancy spoon some of your Armageddon and. Give it a good shake because it's quite thick. This one, <laughs> I give it a good shake, but it looks like it needs even more shake. You might need a little bit of help teasing it out. It's uh, it's eighty percent chili this, so it's it's quite hot. <laughs> it's got uh, yeah, it's Armageddon chilies. They're lovely, lovely flavour. Yeah, you know yourself. You get that flavour from them straight away with this one. Ooh, wow, I'm gonna have to help this out. Yeah, that's the problem I had with that wee bottle, was getting out. Um, I ended up having to do it with water, I think, I actually. had to put it in water. Mm, I think you did the first time you did, didn't you? Yeah. It's very thick. It does come out. Yeah, there you go. Look, it does come out eventually. It's it does come out. You know, you try to do that. It, <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> well, I did the old tap. You know, it's the old Heinz ketchup bottle tap. Yeah. A lot of the reason they tell you that, you know, basically hold it there and hit there and it'll pop out and it popped out. And it's only because, you know, it's beautiful bottle, beautiful bottle. It must have been a pain in the backside for you sticking the stuff in there. Oh, don't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> little bottles. I've got three sources in those little bottles now and they're all really hot. Okay. And I've got to be extra careful, especially with the new one that I just made as well. I was like, I was so careful with that. Oh, yeah, that new one that you made. Looking at that one. But anyway, with this one, I'm just going to go ahead and Chop that one. Oh, yeah, it's got heat. Yeah, away. Yeah, it does. It's got heat. But it's got a good tasting heat. Oh, it almost reminds me of the chug. <laughs> this ain't chilly. <laughs> oh, that's probably why. <laughs> so I think the chug was, what, 40% chilly? This is double. Yeah. So. yeah. Chug was 47. Yours is right up at 80% in that little bottle. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah, I can imagine trying to chug this or a bottle of the chug. Yeah, there's no way. This is awesome. This has got great heat, just like explosive mouth all over. Um, really, look, explosive. Oh, yeah, well, it is. I'm again the end. I do get it. 
Although <laughs> the collaboration have... this one that I did with a grower that I use, um, Sean Plum from uh, Edible Ornamentals, lovely grower down at uh, in Charleston, um, in Bedfordshire. So it's right around the corner from me where I am, and we kind of developed the sauce last year when we got hold of a load of um, Armageddon chilies before anybody else as well. So it was like quite an exclusive little sauce to begin with, you know? Yeah, brilliant. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, um, the first batch that we made, we sold out of them really quickly because it was when Shahini was on TV with the Armageddon and stuff as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so it was like straight out there and we just got on it straight away. <laughs> Sean's happened? brother in law, Salvatore, who was the, um, the, gr the grower of them for Tesco. So, yeah. A little question for James. He eats a lot of Reaper based sauces and stuff. What did you reckon that one to the others? From some that I've had before. Mm. Um, it's really flavour. Um, the heat's nice. Uh, the heat was about a three um, when it worked, the whole after effect. Um, it's lovely. It's just I've went a bit higher. For this was way back at the beginning when I started. This would have been seven, eight easy. Do you know what I mean? Um, so for people that are just starting out, this is going to hurt. Um, but it's got a lot, a lot of flavour. It's lovely. Um, yeah, and quite a lot of sauces I'd done at the beginning. I was just drinking them all. Do you know what I mean? I, I wasn't sampling the flavours, to be fair. Um, I was just drinking them all and building a massive tolerance. <laughs> It worked. <laughs> it definitely worked. <laughs> um, but it's lovely. Um, it's all the all the producers that we've got in Newark um, all make their own brilliant sauces that they're proud of, and you can see it with every single one of them when they come on to these and discuss them and talk about how they came up with the names. It's amazing. I love this in the festivals when this was all going on. Love it. Yeah, well, this is basically our real version of the festival for the rest of this year. You know, I mean, this is the reason why we're doing this. If if there was none of this COVID, we'd be going out. Well, you'd be doing it in England, and I'd be doing it over here. But I'd be missing out. I'd be seeing the same people that I see here all the time. That's why you know it was glad for me to get sources from Canada, get sources from England, get sources from you know as many different places as would ship to me. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, it's good. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone really well. The last well, it hasn't obviously, but you know, yeah. the way that the communities have come together, certainly with the big ch the online chili festivals and stuff, it's been it's been really positive. It's been really good. I think everybody's sort of, you know, I've shipped a few out orders out to the US and stuff and other other countries as well, but off the back of these, so yeah, it's you know, it's been it's been really good, really good. I like how the other producers, well, every, like you said, we were just saying before, James, everybody's got their own take on their sauces and stuff and each one of them from everybody that i've tasted is, they're all completely different you know yeah nobody's is sort of the same yeah but you won't find the same two sources from different that's that that's how it's like when he said your favorite or how can you compare you don't it's like everyone's got their own style and the way you want to do it um i don't even like pickles and big rick do you know what i mean it's like pickles. <laughs> wow man just blown away with his pickles man just Wow. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. We, I get through loads of those at home as well. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So yeah, for me, just to be into this community and getting these sauces now is I'm, I'm loving it. Do you know what I mean? Loving it. It's amazing. Know, I'm set for sauces for the year now. Yeah. <laughs> at least. I'm well, you know. Still. Oh, no, I'll be. Gone by next year. Yeah, big enough family to get through them all fast enough. Yeah. Well, by, well, talking of that, you have no more places to have, put them anymore. I don't have any more. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better start. I do have a fridge in her room that's full. <laughs> and uh, our fridge inside is like, I have two sections in that that are full. And then I have uh, a Smiles. shelf that's absolutely. Oh, I knew you'd like that. Mm -hmm. She saved her best one for last mm. mango lemon. Mm. Is it the mango lemon? Yeah, mango and lemon. That was the yeah, one. A nice little kick to it, that one. That's got. um. It's got yellow super hots in there, and it's got uh, ghost chilies in as well. So it's got a lovely heat to it. Really Come nice. On, Kay. Forward, but then you get the um, then Come you on, get angle coming afterwards. Yeah, I bet. Oh, look at the color. That color is like stunning. Oh. What do you think? 
10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> she went straight there. She went, 10 out of 10 leads. Mm. Well, I knew that mango and lemon are her favourites. Mm. It's got a nice little heat to it as well. It's not complete, not really blow your head off, but it's got a lovely sort of, I think it's got a nice little burn on there. Well, what I do like, Lee, is I like the texture of your sauces, you know. Some of them are, they're, they're not too thick and they're not too thin. It's just like... I try and make them as smooth as I can as well, you know. I use, it's a bit of a process, I must admit. I use a big stick blender, blend it all down, and then I put it through a finer blender. It takes a long time, but yeah. I think it's worth it. Yeah. I like them nice and smooth, so yeah. Um, now that just, mango lemon is like divine. Yeah, you can just yeah, like, see, you see all the fresh mango in there, you know. Yeah, oh, it's so good. It makes me want to drink it. That's what I mean, isn't it? Well, <laughs> no, I've got a million sauces open, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know, but it's, that's one that just makes me want to just drink it. <laughs> oh, I'm making my mouth water. <laughs> Chinese food, rice, this would be so good. Mm -hmm. like you, even in the sweet chili one, just the. Uh, Oh, that's, my, that's probably my second. Yeah, favorite. that's her one that she likes there, the sweet chili. Yeah. That Ooh. Chinese food, okay. little Indian food, a little bit probably of sauce. Just the consistency and pour on them, just good. This one's obviously thicker, but it's still got a good pour on it. Mm. <laughs> the sweet chili one. If you order Chinese sweet and sour chicken balls and they turn out a little <laughs> bit disappointing, yeah, you add some of that sauce to the Chinese sweet and sour sauce and sauce it right now. It'll work. Use the, use the extra hot one and then it'll really, really give it a nice little kick. You got the extra hot. That's got the ghost peppers in. That's really tasty. I like that one a lot. I use it quite a bit. I'm going to smell this one again. Well, that leaves us to the last one. Which one's that? Oh, I know which one you've got. Badger X. <laughs> Badger X. I don't know. It looks like someone scratched his face off. <laughs> 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 so has he got him in a fight? Yeah. I was going for like a little Wolverine sort of slash on there, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it fits perfectly. Like a little nod to, little nod to the... Uh, well, my kind of... Uh, well, I think the, background, you know? <laughs> the spices are perfect because, you know, you don't spoil the eye or the smile of the badger. <laughs> so it's in the perfect position. Yeah. Well, so why did you make this one? I wanted something that was a little bit hotter than I could get with the chilies than just the fresh chilies. I didn't want one that was like overly chilly, so I didn't just want to – I mean, I had the, the Armageddon anyway. With the Badger X, I thought, you know what, I, I made it for the um, time burner, and I thought, I want a, one that's a little bit hotter. So I went with this one. I used some extract in there. It's, it's only a million extract, but I put it in at 6%. So it's oh. a quite high percentage of the million, as well as the peppers that are already in the sauce as well, you know. it's. Uh, I thought I didn't want to compromise the flavor too much. Yeah. So I, try, I tried just going for... A lower um, heat with a million, but just put more in. <laughs> it seemed to work. It worked. It, I thought it worked quite well. So it's a pretty good seller. It's from, well, it was my hottest up until last weekend. <coughs> what size are these wee bottles? 50 mil. 50 mil, so you're 6% of 50 mil. Do you know what I mean? It must be 12 o'clock. You can hear the siren. We're doing this from my uh, chief's office at the fire hall, that's why. <laughs> so there's a siren right above us. So anyway, as Darian said, it pours out beautiful again. All your sauce, just again, beautiful texture. You got that down perfectly. This one. Oh, yeah, that one's got I'm some having heat. some more sweet chili though. Because it's my favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So you get that extract in that one that comes through quite, oh, yeah, quite a lot. Definitely. I mean, it comes through. Now, I had it on the bread, and I think the bread deadened it a little bit for me. Yeah. So that's why I poured some in the spoon, because I'm like, wow, that doesn't taste hot. So, I mean, I learned my lesson. It, again, it's a, it's a bit of a creeper as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Like all of them, you get flavor, you get this, it lulls you into a little false sense of security, and then all of a sudden, bang. Oh, yeah, it's, it's burning me up right now, and it's just as we're talking. It's just, it's, yeah. That's the way extract works. It feel, you think, oh, this is going to be really hot, and then you try it in chocolate or sauces, and you're like, ah, no. Ten minutes later, you're like, oh. <laughs> you know, that's how that uh, rosy red rectum got me, and that's why I started eating bread and stuff with it. Because I've forgotten, and you know, it's earlier in the morning here, you know, early afternoon, and I'd forgotten to eat at all. Two spoonfuls of that, man, and it went through me. So, you know, it's like bread with everything, a little bit of milk. If I did. <laughs> Jeff Wazowski, <laughs> last 20 minutes of the show, and he's off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ended up, I had to go. It was either that or I was going to suffer on that one. But yeah, I like this one too. You know, so I'm obviously assuming the one that you just made is like this times four or five. I'm <laughs> quite a lot, yeah. I mean, that's so that's this one, this little bad boy. This is the triple X. Yeah. This it's is really um, so. This has got um, Carolina Reapers, Maruga Scorpions, and then it's got nine million extract in it. But the nine million in this is at two percent. So there's a lot for a 50 mil bottle at 2%. And it's I, when I cooked this last weekend, I tried a teaspoon of it. I was just like, you know, I've got to try a decent amount. I've got, I had a half a teaspoon first. I was like, uh, I needed a little bit more. Then I had a teaspoon. And, yeah, it, it got me. Half an hour later, I was um, in quite a lot of pain for about half an hour. Um, <laughs> I didn't eat a lot while I was cooking, so I literally just finished bottling up, and then along came that yeah. wave of gut burn. And, yeah, it had me <laughs> bent over on a chair in the kitchen for a good half an hour, sweating, and then I got a big chilly high afterwards. It was like, oh. <laughs> You're like, Ooh, I need a little shot of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like I said. They got that heat. Everybody that I've given it to is like, yeah, it's... Uh, it's, de it's definitely up there. I like it. It's good. So this but, yeah. one's building. I can still feel it building. I can still feel it building on my lips and on my tongue and even yeah. a little bit at the back of the throat. If I was to ooh, put in some air. <laughs> it does keep going. This one, is the, the other one does as well. It lasts. It's just a good sort of 10, 15 minute burn on that. Yeah, I, can, I can imagine that the one that the triple X is probably... If this one is doing this to me, that triple X must be really, really good too. Yeah, I mean, it does. You, you can't taste the extract in it. I don't think too much. No, either. I can't taste the extract in that. You know, the only way I could get it was from uh, uh, well, on the the Armageddon, I think was. Just, you, know, you can you can feel it. You can taste it on your buds before it actually starts burning. You're like, oh, this is going to be a burner, <laughs> and it and it really is. I like this X. I like that. I do like that one. That one is a, that is probably the strongest one out of all of these that I have here. But That's I think we got we got a great selection from you, Lee. It's amazing. I love it. Well, them. definitely he shows really well. You got you got some of the you know some of my favorites as well. You know, some good yeah, flavors. Also, going on. What other stuff? What other products do you sell? You know, other than the ones that I just bought here, basically all I've got. I've got a range of three relishes that I do. So I've got a beetroot and orange relish. That again, it's your black pepper. It's quite mild, but it's just really, really tasty. It's, it's very simple. A few flavors in there, but that is good. It's really good with goat's cheese things like that. I do a tomato and pepper relish. That's really nice. Uh, baked camembert, things like that, you know. It's, it's just, it, yeah, just cheese boards and stuff. Then I've got a chocolate habanero and caramelized onion relish, which is quite a new one, but that is... That sounds great. It's got toasted cumin in there, so it goes really well on the side of your curry and stuff as well. Is that the one you sent me? Did I? Yes, I did send you one of those, actually. Is that, is that right? I got one of those, yeah. to try that, then. 
Yeah, it's really good, really tasty. You get the chocolate habanero flavor. Again, it's just simple ingredients. There's not, I've not gone over the top with them. I've just kept it quite simple. Kept a flavor base little. Yeah, I mean, the, the onions take long enough to caramelize, so the natural sweetness comes out of the onions and you get a really dark sort of color on them. Yeah. It, it takes a long time to cook, but you know, you just sat there, do some other things, and just leave it cooking away, you know. It takes a good few hours there. It's worth it. It's worth it to get that sort of flavour in it, you know. And then, of Good. course, there's your nuts. <laughs> yep, there's badger's nuts <laughs> going down the storm at the moment. No, really, again, I've got the seasonings that I use, so I make seasonings and sell the seasonings, and I use those on the nuts as well. So they, again, just barbecue seasonings, stuff like that. They go really well with all sorts of meat and fish and everything. The, the nuts, I've got scorpion with my scorpion seasoning. That's the hottest one that I've got. The rest of them are quite mild. I've got more for the flavour rather than the heat on the nuts. So you don't get too much heat from them. No, it's the just it's, it's, it's a ones, fantastic yeah. flavour. I mean, yeah, I, you know, it's, it's not always all about the heat. I, I do no, like I mean, that, That's why I've gone with them like that. I wanted something that was a bit more universal that everybody could enjoy, you know, that, 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 not about the heat you get the flavors some you get a small amount of heat from them but then i did the scorpion ones that have got obviously that dried scorpions in there that gives it quite a nice dry sort of heat on there but I, I again, they're not they're not over the top spicy either i can tell you how good the almonds were i was considering throwing more into whatever of your spices that was left in there just to get them out, you know, because how good <laughs> they were good. They were good. I couldn't stop eating those. And it was a surprise, surprisingly, too. How surprisingly good. A real nice blend of herbs and spices that you put on there. Yeah, I think so. I've got I've got a new pro new products coming out as well. Some jerky that I've got a collaboration with um a guy and a friend of mine, Rory Keller, who's in um lives in St. Nears. He approached me about this and he uses my sources on the jerky, and I've sent a few bags out to people now, a few little trial bags. Um, Every single person that I've sent it to has commented on how amazing it is. It is. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. Even Adele, it I mean, I think Adele was like me with jerky. She didn't like jerky, and that, she loves it. I'm sure yeah. Adele says she doesn't like jerky when we done budgies because it was just a weird thing. But she had definitely said yours was lovely. I remember that. So yeah, it is. I mean, I've, I haven't found anybody that doesn't like it yet. Um, so there might be a little. I've got a little surprise coming up soon with the jerky as well. So you'll have to keep posted for that. It's going to be a, a good little thing I'm working on at the moment. I'm going to try and do. Uh, you'll find out soon enough. I'll keep yeah. it under. It'll be on your at some point. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, we'll see if there's any questions that anyone. I can't see any comments basically on Facebook. Right no, I think. Well, that's uh, for there. I know I can press that. One, oh. but, you know, normally Luciana would put some up to see if there's anyone has any questions for Lee and badges. Now, I've seen a few comments come up on the thing, but I can't see them either myself. So I can, I can see a few. Your were... question is just comments. The main so, one was. Badger's jerk is honestly the best and only jerk you've ever enjoyed. Well, there's a compliment for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the future, Lee, I'll ask a question. In the future, you've obviously made your new hot sauce, so I take it that's going to be a main part for Chicken Wing Challenge number two. Yes, hopefully when everything settles down, there, there's definitely going to be a Chicken Wings Challenge too. I'm also working on a hot dog challenge that I'm going to do, and that's going to just be sort of man versus food, big <laughs> foot long hot dog that's going to just have a ridiculous amount of heat to it. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, and it's going to be. I'm trying to get a, a, a restaurant together and just try and get them to have it on their menu as like. You see them in America all the yeah. time. There's a few that do like pizza challenges and stuff. I want to try and get this hot dog in a regular place. Or maybe some big sort of reaper coated fries and stuff like that with it, you know. Big man v food, insane style. And <laughs> try and get just yeah. like a challenge, wall of fame sort of thing going on, you know. Yeah. I just need pizza to find a place who's going to be willing to uh, put it on and um, have people in rather lots of pain in their restaurant you know <laughs> somebody's gonna want to do it i'm sure message me later badger and i'll yeah. give you a couple of ideas yeah 
I will do. That sounds interesting. <laughs> but I'm yeah, always but... full of mad ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to do. I want to do it as a little challenge somewhere first. So that's what I want to do. Do the sort of man be food hot dog challenge, and then yeah. obviously there'll be more chicken wing challenges. I would hope. I was hoping to have like a few in by now. Yeah. Sort of time of year. I was hoping to do a few, you know, but yeah. The, not at the moment. <laughs> All the craziness that's going on, you know. At least it's we don't even know what's going to happen if it because it seems as if it was relaxing and now it doesn't it looks as if it's coming back. <laughs> I don't know. It depends different areas, isn't it? It's different things, so we'll just have to yeah. wait and see. I'm sure if if this year's on hold then I'll have to just do it next year. So, you know. I'm just gonna have to um just gonna have to wait and see, but yeah, there, there'll definitely be more challenges coming, yeah. more people involved, and get them going on. It'll be hotter this time, structured a little bit different, you know. Well, hopefully, everything will open up a bit, bit eventually, and we can get back to what you did earlier, uh, earlier in the year when you had that challenge in the local restaurant or cafe or whatever it was. That was quite well, fun to watch. It was that brilliant was. watching that, wasn't it? Live in Newark, Paul and Shahina jumping about with the cabinet. That was a brilliant night yeah. watching that. Yeah, yeah. that more of that. I had a few people come down. You know, Rick Saunders came down, so he took part, a few other people. So, yeah, it was a really, really good evening. Really good evening. Yeah, definitely get a few more on like that, for sure. Man, I'm going to leave you back with <laughs> leaving us back but basically i mean i think we've covered everything that we need to cover we've covered all of your stuff great having you on we can yeah. just plan it's nice to be here, you know again another great great thing to get in, involved with you know obviously the the new the new group is doing amazing things for the community at the moment it's all over the place you know it's gone worldwide and long may it continue you know yeah, we're, we're all trying our best to spread the chili love and basically... Seems to be working, you know, it's working a lot. Fixes. Hey, did any of you guys enter the quiz yesterday? Yeah. Because, I mean, I think that's coming up in about 20 minutes. Or, so yeah. that... Speaking that's of the quiz, awesome. yes, in 20 <laughs> minutes' time, the results of the quiz is coming up. The results? <laughs> that's what I... I mean, I think I wrote, I wrote out, I think I missed the last two. I got the first six or so. And then I had to leave. So I didn't even bother sending them in. And then I thought, yeah, I don't I have enough sauce as it is, and I don't want anyone sending me in. <laughs> <laughs> all there, so let more people have them. But it's kind of funny because uh, the whole reason I did it, can you give me that thing over on my desk? Inside that paper. Where is it over here? Oh, no, I got it here. So, you know, I sat and I wrote them all out. Basically, I wrote all of it, everything out. And when it came to my questions, every single answer that I put down was Stephen Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't get a chance to send him in because I had to run. I should have sent them in anyway, even if it was left. And uh, I don't, I, like I said, it's I'm all the way over here and I got plenty of sources and have them won by people, uh, you know. I'm sure that I, I have. I'll have source from every producer that's on there, or I'll at least have one. I think the only one that I may not have would have been that Anna's Primus barbecue, but I'll get one of those eventually. Pretty certain of that. <laughs> How do you think you guys did on the quiz? If any of you did it, did any of you put it in? How did I do on the challenge quiz? Tonight, I was um, I was at a show yesterday, so a market yesterday. So oh yeah, I saw you doing that. But I think you know you were the answer, Nixon. Barnett, you were the answer in one of those uh, questions. <laughs> yeah, on the challenges, I eh? might have been the answer in a couple of them actually. I two of them. It should have been two of them. There, there was one of them that was really good. I don't know if anyone caught it or. But it was whoever did the mob in like 343. Yeah. That's a good one. You have to know your mob and you know, know your mob tables in there. Obviously they'll come out with an answer. It was Farmer yeah, Jake. Well, 
<laughs> but James, James has an advantage of this stuff because when it comes to challenges and stuff, his memory just works like that. And oh, you remember yeah, every you one of them. Probably know every one of them that I put in there. I think I even stuck Dell in there, one of them too. <laughs> because there was a hard one. I had to phrase the question in a certain way because otherwise it, it could have been the possibility of two different people. So I had to make sure that I mentioned that it was an administrator or moderator. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but other well, than that, I'm going through that. Yeah, I'll tune into that as well in a bit. I'll see what the results are, see who's got what. Well, on that note, I suppose we better clear the airwaves because this is the people coming up. Definitely. Well, for me, it's been great having Lee on the show and your products are fantastic. Amazing. Thank you so much. It's good. We'll using them all this Bonnet, thank you for Flag coming on. No, thanks help. for having us. I couldn't miss try an opportunity to come on your show one weekend. Well, uh, thanks very much. Especially with that, so, that beautiful love right on your shoulder back there. Oh, she's hiding. <laughs> she's like, come and do the mango one. Come and do the mango one. She's like, no. <laughs> you had it with the tink. I know. <laughs> the chaos of by the town. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye hey, to James see first. That, see you later, James. Mm -hmm. I'll say goodbye to Badger. Thank you for uh, right. popping up having a chat. Thanks for having us, okay? And as for Jif, he'll be back next week on the Sunday with another two source producers at the guest. It might be with Darian. It could be with Alex. Definitely. You never know. You'll have to tune in. It could be all three. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> for now, I'm going to say goodbye to those. Bye. That was Deguano, no, Deguano Fiery Foods. Got it. And the Sunday reviews. New Chili Eds. Lucifer's son. Don't go very far because the results of the quiz is coming up very, very shortly. Lots of sources to be given away and you'll get to find out if you've won any of them. So stay tuned. Bye.